But we begin with breaking news and the death of controversial TV host Jerry Springer, whose eye raising segments redefined talk shows. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon in the newsroom with more on the man who changed daytime TV. Sandy. Indeed, he did, Dave and Lauren. Jerry Springer passed away at his home in Chicago after a brief illness. Various reports say this came after a cancer diagnosis. But he actually grew up here in New York City, in Queens. Springer is, of course, best known for the tabloid talk show that bore his name, a show that often descended into near chaos, make that total chaos at times, arguments and physical confrontations between feuding couples and so-called home wreckers. He was often referred to as the father of trash TV, and Springer's career spanned more than 4,000 episodes. The host frequently said he had no delusions about his show, hence those outrageous titles. But his story goes far beyond his 27-year run on televisions worldwide. Springer was born in London in 1944 in an underground bomb shelter, born to Jewish parents who fled Germany during the Holocaust. His family moved to America when he was five years old, and he spent most of his childhood in Queens and in the process becoming a lifelong Yankees fan. He would go on to become the mayor of Cincinnati, but got caught up in a prostitution scandal and even admitted to paying prostitutes with his own personal checks. A second career followed as a TV news anchor, this before launching his TV show. And lest we forget, he also had a run dancing with the stars. You know, Jerry Springer was even the subject of an opera. What I will remember about the man is his tendency to poke fun at himself and never take himself too seriously. He always seemed to be in on the joke, even if the joke was at his expense. That was a big part of his considerable charm, David Lauren. His life was like fiction, but it was all too real. Thank mm -hmm. you, Sandy. And not a